Hey folks, we are answering frequently asked questions from the Okta Customer Identity Cloud community. Today, we are going to discuss how the email flow works within Auth0 and how to start troubleshooting if an error is received. When you send an email using Auth0, Auth0 is responsible for delivering the email to your custom email provider. The custom email provider then will deliver the email to the end user. Now, let's look at a common issue with a custom email provider when an end user forgets their password and the user does not receive the reset password email. In the dashboard under monitoring and logs, the log files show the success change password request, which is generated as soon as the end user clicks on the forgot password link. Auth0 has delivered the message to the custom email provider. Immediately following that entry, a failed sending notification message is received. When reviewing the details of that notification, you can see the error message that the custom email provider is providing back to Auth0. The error message received is, error sending email, invalid login, 535-5.7.8, username and password not accepted. The custom email provider will also provide a link to additional documentation on resolving the error. Let's update the username and password for that custom email provider under branding and email provider. We can see in the logs that the update was captured. Now let's try to click on the forgot password link again. In our log file, we see the success change password request, but we did not receive the failed sending notification, and the user received the email. If the user did not receive the email and there are no errors in the logs, contact the custom email provider so they can assist with determining what is causing the email message not to be delivered. Providing the timestamp from the log file will help the custom email provider with troubleshooting. Remember, the timestamps of the log files are displayed in UTC format. Today we looked at how the email flow works with Auth0 and how to start troubleshooting if an error is received. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube and join us for more content on community.auth0.com.